What is this? Exactly this. But oh, what is this? Oh, it's just so. Whoa! Some cool, cool artist. Some cool artists of representations of just swivels and just wow flames and spirals of uh, the abyss. Wow, and this and that and this and wow, so beautiful. And it's just chaos and fractal theories. Wow, wow. And you go in, and it's just same bash. And you go in, and wow, it's the same bash. There's little D tiny lines and little D D thing. Wow, fractals, right? See iteration one, iteration two, iteration three. More realistic. Final product, this. Sold to you as CGI and all this. Blah 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 blah. Right? And this is what they this they worship the cube. Who knew? The cube of cubes of cubes of cubes. And the spirals of spirals of spirals of spirals. And the circle and the triangle and the circle and the square and the square and the circle and the triangle and the square. Whoa! Smashed. And look. 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 Right? Because truly what? See, you type it in, bash, no, whoa, mathematics, a curve or geometric figure, each part of which has the same statistical character as the whole, right? And you'll say, oh, yes, fractals. It's like you think, oh, it's just like space, as above, so below, right? There's a that, whoa. Fractals are useful in modeling structures who knew in models such as eroded coastlines or snowflakes in which similar patterns rec recur at progressively smaller scales and in describing partly random or chaotic phenomena such as crystal growth, fluid turbulence, and galaxy formation. So fractals are just everything. Whoa! And this is just so captivating, right? Capable of attracting and holding interest. Charming. Charming. Wow. Wow. Right? Captivate. This bash first says, Captivate. Attract and hold interest and attention of charm. Same bash, but now look. <gasps> See, oh, it has all oh, means enthrall, charm, enchant, bewitch. Oh, they couldn't wait. Fascinate, begill. Yes, begill. Right? That's what Satan did. That's what the serpent did to Eve. Captivate her. For she saw that the fruit was good to eat. She saw. Image. What did she see? Wow, could it be a... Captivation and a, a, a char an enchantment and entrance, enrapture, delight, attract. Oh, see, what does the witch do to the children walking by? She delights them in and attracts them and allures them. Yes, see, captivate. Yes, so what are you? Are you not captivated? Hmm. By what, you say? Oh, nothing. I'm just relentlessly just. I am my own authority. Right? Oh, you couldn't wait to boast in, first of all, your self-acceptance. Wow, look. Come back to that. But you couldn't wait to boast how free you are and how much of a free will you have and all this. Yes, you couldn't wait to boast, do as thou wilt. Because freedom in general, right, is having the ability to act or change. Act. They couldn't wait. Act. 
or change. So act, which relentlessly you do, and change, which relentlessly you do not do because change is just a bash word that is thrown around because change is not, it's, it's just a word, it's an enchantment. Without constraint. Whoa, so you just do enchantment without constraint. Exactly. Something is free if it can change easily and is not constrained in its present state. Wow. In philosophy and religion, it is associated with having free will and being without undue or unjust constraints or enslavement. Of course, they couldn't wait to say it. And is an idea closely related to the concept of liberty. That's closely related, right? Religion and philosophy and religion, we're talking about something closely related to the concept of to the concept of liberty, and they couldn't wait to bash you with, yes, 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 the seven pointed star, the phoenix, and light worship. Who knew? A person has the freedom to do things that will not, in theory or in practice, be prevented by other forces. Outside of the human realm, freedom generally does not have this political or psychological dimension. A rusty lock might be oiled so that the key has freedom to turn. Undergrowth may be hacked away to give a newly planted sapling freedom to grow. Or a mathematician may study an equation having many degrees of freedom. Wow, degrees of freedom. In mechanical engineering, freedom describes the number of independent motions that are allowed to a body. So allowed by what and who and what and where and where. See? Oh, it's from the Big Bang. That's how. That was the first allowance. Wow. What is going on? Which is generally referred to as degrees of freedom. In many scientific fields, the degrees of, like, like you know, shades of gray. And shades of truth. And your truth is your truth and my truth is my truth. And we can just hold hands and say, let's jump off the cliff together, boys. Let's do it. And you'll say, yes, a leap of faith, because we know we will rise like the phoenix from the ashes. Right? Because that's your free will, apparently. Wow, you're just so free. You're just free as you've ever been. Whoa. Free from what? Your own bash thumb that you bash yourself with relentlessly. All while boasting your bash head like a hot dog. Who knew? Because look, freedom, wow, according to this bash, it's personal and social freedoms. Freedom as a physical concept, freedom in mathematical theory, and then dash bash, right? In the philosophical discourse, freedom is discussed in the context free will and self-determination. Self-determination, right? Because you determine bash yourself, whoa. You give yourself purpose and this and this and wow, smashed. Balanced by, oh, but then they say, but balanced by moral response. To, they couldn't wait just to throw these terms together and just give it a meaning somehow. Moral responsibility. Well, you're, did you know that you're being morally irresponsible? Hmm. But according to this bash, in philosophy, moral responsibility is the status of moral deserving praise, blame, reward, or punishment for an act or omission. So you just have to right, cut that wave right because it has to be no more, no less. Right? Just cut that wave, just cut it, cut it, cut it, but somehow you can just cut relentless waves. Because there's no such thing as water, but you can definitely surf the wave. There's no such thing as water, but you could definitely just go out and cut that wave. Oh, yeah. Smashed. Deciding what counts as morally, morally obligatory is a principle concerning of ethics. Oh, so now you say moral obligation? Ah, that concerns of ethics. We're more concerned with the moral responsibility side of it. You see? Smashed. 
personal and social freedom or liberty. Whoa! In politics, discourse, political freedom is often associated with which bash you want to bash and circle jerk with and think that they're going to do and be in your favor. What was shame? What? The sense of giving oneself their own laws, right? You think you gave yourself your own laws. So that's why you say, wow, we're just so amazing because we elect, we the power, we, we, we are the power, the people are the power somehow. The people in masses, wow, cannot be defeated, a bash, 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 right? Boast. You boast in all the bash things that just exist to keep you boasting. <laughs> well, you don't see it. But see, look, we, to exercise them with undue interference by the state, you, you think, you oh, that's why you bash, you hate the state. You're like, ah, the state. Yet you're, you're the one that supposedly brought it into, you know, being, as in giving yourself, get, make giving yourself through your own laws and your own rights. Civil liberties and supposed rights. Wow. That could just be taken from you on a dime, apparently. Or infringingly, you know, usurping on you. Yes. All in, in the shadows. But no, to you it's just, oh, we're too stupid to work under shadows. We're too stupid to keep a secret. Wow, because, yeah, who knew that the biggest secret you keep to yourself is at what exactly... You're just a shapeshifter. So what truth is it? Is there in you? Exactly. So you're defiled. So therefore you think that no one else could just be as defiled as you are. So therefore you say, nah, I'm just too stupid. I'm just such a simple jack. Therefore, no one would be out there just smashing me. Right? No, not possible. No, 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 no. And then you continue on going and doing as you will. Right? Just purchasing with your freedom bash coin and saying, yes, give me that life and this life with a little side of that and this and this frill and there and sometimes that one, but then, uh, no, and then I'll get the other one. Amazing. In some circumstances, particularly when discussing, when discussion is limited to political freedoms, the term freedom and liberty tend to be used interchange interchangeably. Who knew? Elsewhere, however, Subtle distinctions between freedom and liberty have been noted. John Stuart Mill differentiated liberty from freedom in that freedom is primarily, if not exclusively, the ability to do as one wills and what one has the power to do, whereas liberty concerns the absence of arbitrary restraints and takes into account the rights of all involved. So the fractal of the fractal and the fractal of the fractal, right? You're like, wait, I think I have a moral sense, so I'm being responsible. And I say, hey, listen, I know what's right and wrong, but then we're going to come up with something that's just somehow right and wrong for all of us, just because we can see it. So we'll create something that's right and wrong over there, something that's right and wrong over here, and there, there, and there, and just make it all smash together. Yay! Smashed. Who knew it's all just a mashup of Smash Bros? Who knew? But no, you're so free. You're just so free and freedom, right? You sing all the songs about bash freedom and being free and rising like the ashes and from bash nothing and this and that and this and that and just all, all about the relentless rebels and how they died and crushed and somehow sometimes got crushed, but somehow then revived and rebirthed and just rebirthed relentlessly into you. Wow, who knew? So you're the relentless rebel out there smashing it, you know, and you're so angry and you're this and that, and you're just using your anger to just elevate you somehow, either in position or in aspects of perspective of how you be feel more virtuous than the next instead of realizing, wow, forgive, love your enemy, right? So what do you see? What do you worship? Right? Exactly. No, you'll go back to your bash personal freedom and just probably just c keep on flicking that bean uh, relentlessly because you're so free to do it. 
right? Because then it gives you some, some sense of peace, right? Oh, you couldn't wait, right? Freedom, freedom from disturbance, tranquility, right? So f f peace means freedom. So doing us that wealth from disturbance. Um... So doing your will out of disturbance. <laughs> That's peace somehow. Um, what is going on? First of all, what is disturbance? Oh, uh, you don't know, but somehow tranquility is also just the same thing. No, to be still is not peace, you bash. Just because, oh, motion, right? You think something is still in Right? Absence of motion. And somehow it's at peace. No. What is it? You have no idea. What is going on? Peace. What is peace? A state or period in which there is no war or a war has ended. Oh, peace. Right? Wow. Yet this word is used relentlessly. Relentlessly. And look, of course. See? This is the, the Lebensborn symbol in this. Look. See, look. This is the upside down band. You know, what is it? It's also the triangle, right? S being split it. Right? A triangle being split it, right? And you know, oh, the triangle and the circle and the circle. See? It's just enchantment upon enchantment and you, you have no idea what it is but somehow you know what it represents oh yeah you definitely do know because apparently it's just being peace and sit down and just swimming with baby buddha and just seeing all senses of you guessed it right oh because you type in captivating and uh, whoa, look! Everything is just so, whoa, just... See, look, they couldn't they couldn't wait to just bash a fractal in there. And of course, everything is just so captivating, right? The five elements of a captivating writing, blah, blah, blah. Right? This, that, whoa, so captivating, right? It, so, so, who knew that the term is shape-shifting, you know? It means this, but it means that, but also this and that. And somehow, all of a sudden, what? What is going on? Exactly. In shackles, being blasted at gunpoint. But no, 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 no. That's just criminals. Really? So it's a criminal, right? In a place without you just give yourself your own laws. According to your own bad sense of moral responsibility. And apparently everyone is just morally responsible. Right? Wow. What a shame. Because everyone then think themselves as a moral person. <laughs> because they give themselves their own crowns. They give themselves their own crowns. Of said rights and apparent liberties. Wow. And then they boast in it. And then expect the world to boast and love them back for it. And they will shapeshift into a enterprise. That will feed off of that. See, oh, degrees of freedom. They couldn't wait. White to the 33rd degree and all this bash. Six degrees of freedom. Oh. Giving it six degrees. They couldn't wait. Oh. See, roll, right, yaw, pitch. Six degrees of freedom refers to the freedom movement of a rigid body in three-dimensional space. Specifically, the body is free to change position at forward, backward, surge, up, have, left, sway, translation in three perpendicular axes combined with changes in orientation right so this is you this is the ball earth smashing relentlessly somewhere nowhere and just bashing but somehow it rotates and you say it rotates on an axis but it could at any given moment smash this this because it's free and you're like no 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 it's just locked in 
It's just bosh, 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 right? So you expect everything to work perfectly. And you just exempt yourself from that for some reason. And you say, no, 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 no. See, the earth does follows, follows. The earth follows its place and what it does. But no, 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 man. We just do whatever we want. Oh, and give ourselves whatever laws we want under the sun, right? Because apparently we are just simple jocks that somehow need laws to tell us what it is and tell us what it is and that we can't do and do and do and do for others and not do for others and this and that and that. Smashed. All be, we, boasting, making you boast in a, some sense of moral responsibility. Whoa, what a shame. Degrees of freedom in mechanics describes a number of independent motions that are allowed to a body or in a case of mechanisms made of several bodies. The number of possible independent relative motions between the pieces of the mechanism. In the study of complex motor control, there may be so many degrees of freedom that a given action can be achieved in different ways by combining movements with different degrees of freedom. This is called the degree degrees of freedom problem so there are many what there's there are many roads to rome right right but all the roads lead to a dead end so what are you doing right because apparently oh just because there's so many ways to do things and well we just there's a problem right because we're just so free and free and free but somehow we can trace it all what is going on Freedom in mathematical theory. In mathematics, freedom is the ability of variable to change in value. Some equations have many s variables. This notion is formalized as the dimensions of manifold or an algebra algebraic variety. When degrees of freedom is used instead of dimension, this usually means that a manifold or variety that models the system is only s implicitly defined. Interpretation. Such degrees of freedom appear in many mathematical and related disciplines, including degrees. Oh, look at this phase space. Oh, phase space. Oh, it's just so random. Smashed. Degrees of freedom of physics, chemistry to explain the dependence of parameters. So freedom means dependence. <laughs> Oh, amazing. So just bashing you, just wordsmithing you. Right? Because what is going on truly in past shackles, right? And you say, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm the most free. And I fight for the ones that aren't free. And this, a dot. And this and that Bill Cosby led away in shackles. <laughs> After being given sentence of three to ten years. And he's already 88 some years old or whatever. Bosh. So they basically gave, gave him a death sentence. So what's going on, right? Oh, just relentlessly, just bound. Just, just bound. To what? Uh, Some things I just can't hold my hands together. I got, it's kind of hard to move around and do things. And this and that and this and that and this and that. Oh, right. Why? What is going on? On could it be that uh you're in denial of union? Okay, what ha what what leads a world to just accept this as a just well this is part of it. But some people just must be in shackles. This is the ways of the world. Don't you understand, people? Look, in order to just be able to do as thou wilt, then you need places that will just relentlessly keep people against their will. Okay? Because, 
Yeah, they were they were just not morally responsible. And you say, no, the ones that were morally responsible did the shackling and this and that and this and wow, so what is going on? You don't know. But you say, I know. You're like, I know everything. Wow. So instead of recognizing just the shackles that you're in, you're going to go out there and bash and fight for the ones that you can apparently see in the flesh and just cry about relentlessly. All further in your denial, your further separation, right? From what? Exactly. The union with the Father that we are and are here to recognize. Through the gift of life. Who knew? But no, instead we just see our bash separation and are captivated relentlessly by things like this. <gasps> wow. <gasps> wow. So beautiful. And this. And this, and that, and that, and this, this, and that, and not that, and sometimes this, and not the other. But definitely this, right? This all the time. Yes, please. But not this. Not this. Even though it's captivating. Even though you don't know what it is, but somehow this guy does it all. <gasps> wow. Right? And it's just relentless. Just relentless in fractal ways, right? But you zoom in and bash, it's the same thing. And you zoom in, bro, it's the bash, same thing. And you blow out, blow out, it's the same thing. Bash, 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 right? And to you, it's just like, yeah, it proves Groundhog Day, everyone. We're in a simulation. We're in a simulation of simulations, everyone. The Matrix was right. And this and this and that and that and this and this and that and that and this and this and that and that. Oh, so if this is a matrix, then what is the actual, where is Zion, right? You have no idea. You have no idea what it is. You're like, well, is it the moon? Are we inside the moon? This and that and this and this and that. Smashed! All denying life that bringeth forth life day in, day out. But no to you, I'm just going to, I'm free to just keep abusing myself and others who knew and you're like yeah i just couldn't wait so i'm just gonna bash just bask in my said freedom and then just you know f look for a sense of peace in life you know because it's, i just want the simple life you know Peace is when people are able to resolve their conflicts without violence and can work together to improve the quality of their lives, right? Relentless betterment. Relentless improvement. Home improvement. Yes, relentlessly improve your home. Peace is when everyone lives in safety without fear or threat of violence and no form of violence is tolerated in law or in practice. So any 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 promise of peace on earth is truly a lie, okay? Because the relentless subscription or just the relentless bending down to the notion of doing as thou wilt is the complete annihilation of any notion of peace. For who knew that the only peace <clears throat> that could be even close to as being defined by this is the promise of the bride that the father has. The true promise. The true promise and the, tr yes, the way to inherit through, through, through the living of the vapor of our lives. So what is it that we see? What is it that we worship? Well, we we just go ahead and say, well, I'll worship this symbol and I'll do the relentless V sign and smile on cameras and say, yeah, peace and love and light. Smashed. You have no idea what this means. No idea. For it's been cooked up, right? And it's just like, wow, relentless. The associations and affiliations with game theory, democratic peer, blah, blah, smashed. 
Smash, smash. It's just a bash word. Tranquility, quiet, rest in peace, right? Aloha. History. In ancient times and more recently, peaceful alliances between different nations were codified through royal marriages. So basically favored, you know, being favored and out of favor now it means peace. No, see, it's just wordsmithing, wordsmithing. And then you assume peace to mean uh, something that is relentlessly sought after. You're chasing some bash notion of peace that will never be fulfilled for only the father reneweth all things, not man. So if you're in a state of relentless, you know, anxiousness or just fret, instability, which truly everyone lives because violence is just everywhere. Fear everywhere. Conflicts relentlessly. Bah, bah, bah. And then you have all these relentless corpses of corpses of organs. Just, well, look. The United Nations, Domestic Peace, National Security, League of Nations, Olympic Games, Nobel Peace Prize, Rhodes Scholarships and Other Fellowships, Gandhi Peace Prize, Student Peace Prize, Culture of Peace News Network, the Sydney Peace Prize, Other, there's more, who knew? Oh, and they couldn't wait, right, just to associate all the Bash religions. But of course, all these are under the fold of the counterfeit. For these are in name only, split notions split fractals right of the word of the wisdom of the father right all in shape-shifting ways that just captivate you okay they captivate you they captivate you right they captivate you in fractals and just split you right because you couldn't wait you couldn't wait to just follow what is appealing to you you know you say curiosity. Well, I'm just curious. It's just a mystery to me, so I'm curious. Right. So the one the curious, you know, one that straight from the flock got just devoured by the wolves and this and that. So somehow in your own biology, it doesn't even make sense to be curious. What does that even mean, curiosity? Curiosity means doubt. Curiosity means you don't know a bash thing, right? You, you might as well be a, a retro simple jack. Just like even just in retro fractals away from the simple jock that you think simple jock is. But somehow he's just in the in the smaller kind and then you're above him somehow. But no, it's the same thing. Smashed. See? It doesn't work. It's all a captivating notion of captivity. You're, in the, you're the one in shackles. But then you'll say, no, stop building prisons. More, more, more housing, less prisons. More housing, less prisons, and this, and that, and this, and wow, right? All because they have, that's what happens in a place where you just worship doing as thou wilt and boast that it's some sort of freedom. No, who knew there's life, the true promise, and living life? And then there's a past thing called freedom and how you can chase his chase it doing it as your will all by s supposedly self self accepting yourself because this self acceptance def relies on the worship right in the bent and the acceptance of failure right because look the self acceptance is considered the prerequisite for change to occur how does change occur you traumatize yourself by bashing your, and convincing yourself that you can change and you're changed for the better somehow. And so you allow yourself to do whatever you want and then justify it by saying, well, I'm just living somehow. I'm just learning and bosh, 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 nothing. It can be achieved by stopping, criticizing, right? Just stop criticizing yourself and solving instead the defects of yourself and then accepting yourself to be existing within yourself. Whoa, that is tolerating oneself to be imperfect in some parts. Wow, exactly. So be the defier. Deny the t fine tuneness of it all. Deny the perfection and the masterpiece that you're in. 
deny it and accept your imperfections by your own self-appointed crownness and observation of what you think you are and what you think life is and all your other bash assumptions and bashness of fractals of bash worship. Right? Because all you need to do is accept yourself and then go out there and convince others to accept you. Whoa. What a shame. So you're relentlessly chasing some dragon. Relentlessly chasing that dragon. All because you guessed it. You denied to be in union with the father. The love unconditional, right? Then I broke my second staff called union. Two staffs. One favor the other union wow amazing but no there's no wisdom in this people no none zero it's just oppression and bigotry all the way through people don't even bother the man who obeys his commands continues in union with god and god continues in union with him and through his spirit whom he has given us we can know that wow Right? We are in union with the one who is true, his son, Jesus, the Messiah, who is the true God and eternal life. Amen. Then God's peace, right? which goes far beyond anything we can imagine, right? Then God's peace, God's peace, not man's peace, which goes far beyond anything we can imagine, will guard your hearts and minds in union with the Messiah Jesus, who knew. Amen. Look. Yes. For true peace just filleth you with the, oh, the love of the Father which is, it gives forth life relentlessly. But no, to you, then you go out and just fly yourself into bashing. Right? Just to be attracted and the power of attraction and charm your way through some bashness. But somehow it also means to take prisoner, right? But somehow it's obsolete. Right? Captive, eh, used to mean captive to subdue so when you're captivated and you're captivating you're just subduing and just capturing somebody what does that even mean but somehow it's obsolete people it's, now it means attract and interest yay oh it's just a trap and you and you fell for it see and all the words just shape shift and mean this and sometimes and you say context yeah, well and who knew that's where lawyers excel wordsmithery manipulation but somehow it's all just so just and just so fair and just so full of moral responsibility because we trust in men and how we're just so also just in it for the other because we're the relentless altruist phil you know all oh, the all oh, we just couldn't wait to help others right philanthropists up the yin yang and out the mouth through the pocket who knew relentlessly dishing out money thinking you're boasting in virtue and saying yes i give so much smashed or I go to this group and I give relentless soups and I make relentless food. Wow, smash. Groundhog Day. Who knew? And, you, and you're rewarded with uh, rewards. You know? Plaques and accolades and dinners and this and this and that and that and that and this. And the world will just keep on filling that gullet of yours. Because you can keep on doing what you will. And being, love and being in love with yourself. And boasting in the friction that you get. Wow. Wow. All because you traded you traded it up for this. <laughs> Some bash notion of peace. False promise. All while just defiling you in the dark. And somehow you cry about why things aren't aren't going as far as they could. Oh 
not crying when you see pictures of some bash ch- child talking about climate change and blaming the parents say no you out you don't kill your you don't exactly you don't care about your children but you realize you kill them right and taking their future right in front of their eyes and this and that and this and that and you're like go you go sister you tell them and you say and then you keep bashing that's it yeah, it's, it's exactly just deniers of you know of the union right but to you union is the action or fact of joining or being joined, especially in political context, right? Whoa, it's just political. And somehow some bash that represents a worker, right? A club, society, or association formed by people for the people. Oh, with a common interest or purpose, right? Union. Might as well call them secret unions instead of secret societies. Secret unions. Exactly, because they... Pledge allegiance to something behind the scenes and then go out and act union with you and the public and the people and this and this and put on a performance of a lifetime. All because it's just so captivating. Oh, yes. Oh, see, you couldn't wait. You couldn't wait. Freedom. Wow. We'll end it there.